It don't have to be this way Let me show you a better day with a heart-shaped bodice, carefully hand-beaded and encrusted with red, gold and crystal sequins and further embellished with precious rhinestones. The bodice meets at the waist where the gold encrustments continue to encircle Maggie's slender body. The feast continues as the back of the dress is revealed to show a two-foot long train. The bottom of this dress is a full-length circle skirt made of chiffon with a dramatic split at the center, giving a tantalizing peak of Maggie's long legs. Maggie's dress is accessorized with gold jewelry, including a gold and red headpiece and earrings. Brilliant and glowing red and gold reminiscent of the nighttime glow of the volcano, this gown was made by Castle Designs. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie de Touche in a gown entitled Goddess of La Soufrière. Maggie's hair was styled by Elvira Lee of Here We Are and her makeup was done by Miss Stefanella Semper. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie de Touche. Festival City, feast your eyes. A delegate number one in Tropical Productions, 
Miss Montreal 2011. Maggie de Touche. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie, delegate number one. In a gown entitled Goddess of La Sufria. bridal satin with rose-colored and sequined lace. The sweetheart neckline of the bodice creates a tantalizing cleavage as the gown hugs Natalia's body like a jealous lover, only letting go at the knees where it meets a gentle ruffle. A train flows softly from the ruffle, swaying as she moves elegantly across the stage. This majestic creation is enhanced by a Victorian puff sleeve ending at the left elbow. The gown is accessorized with a matching fascinator and shoes. Her delicate, her delicate ears are adorned with magenta and silver studs. Natalia is simply elegant in magenta magic, a uniquely Montrachian gown designed by Bernadette Dubry and created by Maudlin Rosegraves. Natalia's hair was styled by her chaperone Bernadette Dubry and her makeup was also done by Bernadette. Ladies and gentlemen, delegate number two, Miss Brown. Festival City, I know that you can do better than that. Delegate number two. Natalia Duran! Clarice is sponsored by Cool and Smooth of Antigua and she's chaperoned by Ronnell White and Chevelyn Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, in the heat of the night emerges this royal beauty in an ensemble entitled Imperial Goddess at Twilight. Clarice wears an elegant one-shoulder gown accentuated by a sheet bow on her right shoulder. This teal masterpiece hugs her body as she glides gracefully across the stage. The fitted bodice flows downwards into an inviting split that opens up on her left leg and is highlighted by three layered ruffles. Prominent at the front of this dress is a vivid peacock sequence which covers the midsection and drops in a V-shape at the rear of the gown. As Paris turns, it reveals the true image of a peacock as the design is embroidered on the entire back blending into the train. To complement this gorgeous creation, Claris accessorizes with gold and silver studded high heel sandals with a teal bracelet and earrings to complement the ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the Imperial Goddess at Twilight. 
Clarice is here was styled by her chaperone Ronnell White and her makeup was done by Stefanella Semper. Ladies and gentlemen, Clarice Yearwood, Imperial Goddess at Twilight. bracelet and ring. Her feet are encased in gold high heel sandals. Ladies and gentlemen, awake to color, awake to pageantry, and awake to the beauty of Tiffany in The Awakening, a bijou original created especially for her by Julian Roberts Riley. Tiffany's hair was styled by Prisca Marshall and her makeup was done by Charlene Lindsay. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four, Miss Tiffany Ryan. <laughs> Delegate number five, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jocelyn Fenton. Jocelyn is sponsored by Monfest and she's chaperoned by Mrs. Rhoda Romeo. Mermaid of the Alps. This white and cerulean blue masterpiece is inspired by the great Alps waterfall of Montserrat. The gown is made of dazzling white satin accentuated with glittering blue lycra. The diamond encrusted straps of the, ground, of the gown are reminiscent of the moonlight dancing off the sparkling water at night. Rhinestones and sequins sprinkled across the bodice remind us of the stars on a beautiful night in paradise. Justin's waist is cinched with blue glittered lycra, emphasizing the mermaid silhouette of the gown. Delicate, delicate strands of silver and crystals gently trickle from Justin's upper back, falling to the low V-cut waist. As the dress hugs her hips, it cascades into ruffles of crystal white organza, fading into light blue, ending in a sparkling dark blue train, representing the foaming water cascading down into a calm, serene pool, as it is the nature of the waterfall. This divine gown is completed with five-inch silver stilettos. Jocelyn wears matching diamante necklace and earrings, compliments of Adrian, and her sculpted nails were done by Nyota Malkair. Mermaid of the Alps is created by 